Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactic. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of this wonderful game. Blind playthrough, insane difficulty, we're still standing strong. The next mission is Act 2, Chapter 2, The Crucible. And we can collect a lot of cases to get even more loot, which is great. Scouts have located uh, high value equipment, locust forces are on the way. Sid sees a perfect opportunity to test the convoy's metal. Well, let's see how well that turns out to work. We do have Sid as well as four units. And I think this time, since, let me see. Yeah, since, oh, okay, I see how it is. We don't have, we don't have a support here. Let me fix that real quick and hire one. Okay, let's start with the obvious. I'm stupid for not having a second support. It was just a matter of time until uh, something like that would happen. So we got a Vanguard. We basically got a Scout and a Heavy. And the only other options are another Vanguard, another Scout or another Heavy. So which two classes would we want to take on? Do we go with two Scouts or are we going with two Heavies again? Hmm. Difficult question. I mean, a second scout would make sense, but what are we dealing with? 20% movement while it's hidden. Well, that's not great. That in itself doesn't help us a lot. Yeah, we're going with two heavies, which kind of gets us back to our original setup, right? Well, no healing this time. Gotta make sure that we're not taking too much damage. Listen up. Diaz preaches teamwork. But I've got a different gospel. Sink or swim. If you can't pull weight, don't expect pity. Because the grubs won't give you any. Now, it's proving time. Okay. What? Flying enemies? Trial by fire it is. If we're gonna tangle with Ukon, we need better armor and weapons. Grab the gear and watch out for those nemesis bombs. Okay, well, it seems heavy was uh, the worst idea that I could have had. Jack moves up. That's one. Gets the crate. Keep after it. Fun's just started. Good. Where are the different crates? So that's one out of five. Two out of five. Three out of five. Four out of five. Five out of five. And we're fighting towards high ground. I got that okay. feeling that uh, I've made the worst mistake by taking up two heavies here. Roger that. This here looks like we continuously need to move forward. Uh -huh. Scout sprints in. And does a yes. pretty nice job in doing so, by the way. Can we? Yeah, we can reach at least the cover. Brace for assholes. Well, so much for letting. I've, I figured that, that exactly that would Grubs happen. Inbound. We're being Time pushed into the dirty. enemies, and we don't have a great combination to deal with them. And I would guess that that means everybody does. What? Move it, cream pops. More bombs on the way. Okay. Scout on standby. Hmm. 
This Welcome. is going to suck so much. I can already see I've taken the wrong combination here. It's an anti-heavy mission, and Saiken brought only heavies. Fire in the hole! Scratch one grub. Outgoing frag! Standing by. Jack begins to move up, and I think we're just going to hide ourselves here. Later, Jack is Jack. collecting the cases, whilst everybody else hopefully charges in. Good, moving up. And Sid takes the point Taking position because I want him okay. to take any damage in case they are rushing in. Setting up a perimeter. Overwatching. Oh wow, I botched the overwatch. Well, I suppose this is the best overwatch we can get. Bring it, Let's hope that uh, our 75% damage reduction will actually work out well. Or that this guy here runs to the left. What? Wait, what? 75% damage reduction. And... We're Watch being it. shot down Last to... Last zone's not getting any smaller. What? Oh my gosh, how much damage. So Sid here had 75% damage reduction. He has 550 hit points, I think, and they hit him for 500. So that means overall, this is 1,000 points of damage. Uh, 2,000 points of damage. Holy macaroni. Good. Moving up. <laughs> now nah, I need to keep on moving. Standing by. That's a critical hit. Keep it going. I read you. We have an, another option. No, we got execution and basically plant the grenade. No problem. Let's get some extra AP. Any regret? Clean kill. Hey. Fifty fifty. He's doing all right so far. This could be another kill. Almost out. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not. I'm using the 100% kill chance right there. Good. 
need to collect that crate over there. Sid moves up. Okay, one more crate and we can head for somewhere less explosive. Heavily exposed. Uh, heavily exposed. Scout on standby. Does the scout already have his char uh, her char uh, her sprint? The answer is no. Okay. Taking position. Ooh. Deviant sniper drone. Oh my god. We're looking at more pinning. Ah, oh, that's not. What? And multiples of those? This should be a perfect position or near perfect position for us. Charging. Heavy reporting in. Aggressively moving in. Move forward. And let's get you out of cover. Go ahead. You got it. Ten percent chance to hit, not good enough. I need some damage. Twenty-one percent. Sid is unfortunately. I shouldn't have charged. Uh, super exposed uh, there. Not enough long-range options. But with the pistol, we should be fine. Just need one hit. Just need one hit. Bring it on, I'm ready. Good, time Bare to collect all of the cases. City still has damage Otherwise, reduction, so their normal shot point. should not be a problem. However, they will try to pin us down. At least that's what I assume. So the last crate is up there. On my way. Uh. Your history. Nice little hit. I like it. Orders. Apparently we were more safe um, over here than I would have guessed. 
Okay. Good, moving into cover. Let's get this guy out of Run cover. Back. Target deals minus 50% damage on its next turn. Okay. Orders. Sounds like a plan. Charging up. That's only a 30% hit chance, which is lamentable. Yeah, I can't really hit him. But we can overwatch. And thankfully, the pistol has a super long overwatch radius. All right, moving over here. Time to hide. Circles. What are those five snipers? Let's kick some ass. Ready. Yeah, just hammer drones. Okay, cool. Ooh, for a moment, I was afraid. Throwing frag. That's a nice little hit. Appreciate it. Let's make sure uh, we can't buffer up. Go ahead. Moving up. Out of curiosity, 60%, if I had an extra ability, uh, an extra action, On I would definitely do the explosive shot. Moving out. the extra ability that uh, that uh, ability point that I was hoping for unfortunately I've already started overwatching yeah that's uh, really unfortunate reload good time to reload though Let's move around the corner as no far problem. as we can. 
and eventually start flanking them. Jake starts mo uh, to move up and meet up with us. He just moves over, 70% chance to hit, but not necessarily to kill. I will take that. Watch it, here they come. That means the next time it moves, he will die. I was hoping we would not need two shots for it. This is super nasty. Now it's our turn. We'll go. Moving up. Wanted to bomb rush him. Yeah. On my way. Eyes up. Evac points in range. Moving into cover. Throwing frag. There is a nice little proximity mine that should make sure this guy knows who's boss. On it. Overwatching. Okay. On my way. Thirty-eight percent. Hmm. Trying to piss me off. Anchor, ten percent more accuracy. Okay, there we go. Kill. Fantastic. It's dead. We'll go. Jack moves up. And let's hide right over here. See ya, Jack. Aggressively moving forward. Full contact. We're out of uh, line of sight from him, and the other guy will die. Surprise. Last round. I'm out. 
I was hoping he would. Unfortunately, he's not. Problem solved. Awaiting orders. Let's pick up the last crate. Above and beyond, huh? Not bad. Now let's hit that extraction point before we're flame broiled. Acknowledged. One. Yes. Two. Three, four. Watch it! Here they come! Make it count! Okay. Orders? Heavy reporting in. We will be able to charge out of here next turn. Boy, that was a really, really close mission. This will be good. Moving to position. Just barely made it out. Decent work. Got a long damn way to go. Load up that gear. Let's roll. I mean, the heavy still was good, but maybe not as useful as in other missions. But wow, we got a lot of crates. I think this mission was, uh, actually was intended to give us enough gear. It's nice that the content of the mission and the game purpose are aligned. Sid also is promoted. Jack again did not get a promotion. But yeah, let's look at that. Six crates are available plus two ammunition that's great hair trigger another hair trigger okay in terms of recruitment got another level three uh, support here let's just recruit her just in case we're short of a support again And what are we dealing with? Three percent accuracy bonus, not bad. I like that one. Diagnostics is good. Healing skill. Hair trigger. Ten percent shot this uh, on the same target again. Yeah, I still think that the 30 damage are simply better. And this is straight up 10% more healing. The accuracy bonus is potentially better for Sid here. Who can now take a better hair trigger. Already has an accuracy bonus. But 
Blast zone. Unit gets plus 15% grenade effect. Um, yeah, I, I know exactly who can benefit from that. Oh, well, we already got the blast zone on her. Well, I suppose blast zone is better than nothing. And also 10 extra health. Which just showed me that our support here seemed to come with equipment. Stabilizers. Nope, don't need that. And 5% damage reduction. I think we got something better. Crit chance in use to ammo. The drum magazine is quite good. Um, we should actually use that. Okay, we got it equipped. Never mind, my bad. Okay, as for our sniper, let's see. We got 40% crit damage. That's good. 7% crit chance, that's good as well. And we still don't have any upgrades there, so... Can we... Recruit a sniper? No, we can't. I was thinking we might be able to recruit a sniper and at least get some wide weapon mods on her. Five percent accuracy bonus, fantastic. Another five percent accuracy bonus and chance for some extra actions. You know that's not bad. And finally our heavy. 30 damage, great focus. Start of the turn, 25% crit chance, until we get a crit. Mm. I like the damage still a lot. Hair trigger is good, but two ammunition is better. That brings up our ammunition to seven. Patrol overwatch shots gain 20% damage. I think we're keeping that, although seven accuracy is great as well. And Disrupt is potentially the best thing that I've seen for him so far. Good. Sid got his badass tree. And that ability is fantastic. Keep in mind, I mean, think about it. We even survived a shotgun shot. And apparently that is supposed to kill one shot uh, kill if it deals 2000 points of damage. So that's great. We got self-revived, but I've never seen us being downed. Higher regeneration. Unit kills an enemy. With a bayonet uh, charge, each ally gains 20% reduction for the turn. I could see a niche where that is helpful, but against an, a boss enemy, for instance, don't really see it. This one here, however, is good. Unnerve. I like it. 10% isn't isn't bad. And it seems to stack with everything else. I mean, the other option is we could go into that whole intimidation route, right? Um, originally, the idea was that he can help others to, to gain that leech effect. Are we really that often out of hit points? It seems that Gabe has the hit point thing relatively well under control. However, sometimes we're low, so can't really say it never happened. The The leech isn't too bad, but the question is, will it make a huge difference? Squad regeneration, on the other hand, 
seems fine. Units with, with leech heal 40% of their damage. Okay. Downed allies within 10 meters are revived. No one was ever downed. And hunker down on the other hand was quite decent. Look guys, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I'm playing it for the first time. So far, I wanted to build him as a paladin-ish character that can actually help. I have no idea how good Intimidate is. I like the idea of, of just cover removal. The question is, can he do that by itself without needing to skill deeply into it? That bayonet charge thing isn't bad either. This unit gets 20% damage and 20% damage reduction for the turn. Could argue if you skill this and this and uh, this, he is becoming way more mobile. And together with badass, you would be at 95% uh, damage reduction for the first hit. That's good. I, I can't see a usage of that. I'm not sure though how... There are not many enemies currently can be bayoneted, it seems. The small ones, yes, but they are not a problem. Is the leech worth it? I don't know, but I think I'm going to stick with my original plan, even if that means it's not, maybe not great. The 10% damage um, weakening, that definitely is good. And here we got 25% leech for all of our units. Let's start with that. Next time we got uh, the passive regeneration for everyone. That actually is rel relatively decent and depending on how good leech is we get leech time uh, part 2 and leech part uh, 3 kind of as the ultimate. I know why I wanted to stand together I just read the second sentence allies get 50% damage reduction until the start of your next turn however Jack is already doing that with the zone so not sure for an 8 round cooldown if it is really worth it but maybe next turn maybe the next level we're getting that squad regeneration here right so depending if rally is good we're going to get rally, rally 2 and squad regeneration and we're kind of finishing his healing tree sort of stand together and uh and rally three should be fine um intimidate looks like a decent skill as well so that might be a thing good that brings us to the end of uh, the mission thank you for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed uh, the content if you did please leave a like and a comment down below and we see each other in the next episode bye bye